All right, everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome back. Now, like I said, I did the breakdowns of the um, case of everything here. Today is the cleaning. I'm gonna go over it again here. Here, this case here is old school. This is your Antec black aluminum steel fusion case. These cases was used when Windows Media came out, which is another good software that, you know, if you was into the media watching your, um, your TV cable and stuff like that through a computer. And you had your upfront panel here. You had your um, readouts of the um, temperature. You never wanna know your local temperature and everything. You had your time, the temperature, and every seven coming through your readouts up front. You had your power switch, your uh, reset switch up front, as well as your USB ports and your IEEE port. So now, just like I said, today is the cleaning. I'm excited. I'm gonna go over everything again. This here PC holds the AMD HD 7770 GPU. It has maximum required power is 250 um, watts. It's a one gigabyte uh, GPU. Back then, one gigabyte was a thing back then. Now, in 2022, if you use one gigabyte playing video games, especially the high-end games, which I know better, and I'm not gonna go ahead and do any uh, presentation or reviews or playing your modern days games on this GPU, then somebody please shoot me. This is your basic GPU back then. Um, back then when this GPU came out, you did play some games, but it just back then our games wasn't as hardcore as they are now. Now that's good. Now the uh, CPU is the AMD Phenom X3 triple, there's triple cores, triple threads. That means three cores, three threads. That's when AMD decided to start stepping up from the two cores, two threads, and the one core, two threads from the Cephron. So they came up with the Anthlon's Phenom processors. Good processor. Still is a good processor in 2022. It just depends on how you use it. Now, I talked to my brother, he said he's all in for this here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and revamp it for him so he could be happy and he gonna enjoy it. Now, it has a total of eight gigabyte of RAM. It's two four gigabyte of G-Skills DDR2 memory at 1066 speeds. So we use this for them, that's all it was up to is 1066. So he is good with the RAM, this motherboard is the um, Asus M2N68BM. It holds up to eight gigabytes. The operating system is Windows 7 64-bit. You can use this Windows 7 Home 64-bit or Windows Professional 64-bit. It's not an issue. Now, just like I said, a lot of people still use Windows 7. I'm using Windows 7, but by me using Windows 7 on my um, entertainment PC, I am secured up to the latest antivirus software. So you can use Norton, you can use um, Panda security, whatever you like. Longer as as has malware protection and everything because they did cancel the security updates in that operating system, which that was the next best operating system to Windows XP. This is why Microsoft, I hope y'all listening, that we are mad with y'all because y'all keep updating Every operating system, every 10 years, stick to an operating system, deal with it, and be happy with it. And just keep coming out and keep, even though y'all canceled the security updates, but y'all didn't have to. Windows XP could still be on, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Y'all have four good operating systems. I'm not talking about Windows 98 SE. That was a good operating system back in this time, but we not on IDEs no more. Um, those are four good operating systems. Y'all could have kept the updates going. Imagine how much money y'all still be making in today's society right now in 2022. If you had those four software out, four software or operating systems that we could choose from, and Microsoft be happy. But every 10 years, we know that Microsoft likes to go ahead on and bring out a new operating system and delete the old one. Alrighty. The uh, power supply is the Corsair TX650M. It has um, a 500 gigabyte Hitachi um, 
um, age, um, hard drive in here, a 3.5 hard drive, and it has a Blu-ray DVD ROM player. Now, just like I said, I will be breaking it down, cleaning it. The case is still some good. Um, but just like I said, it's it's more of a media center type, and you know, having this sitting up upright like this on your desktop, and with this with this here. With this here, with these here knob, this here big volume knob here, it, it looks weird, and um, it looks very weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just go ahead and break it down, clean it, and get it ready for a new case with RGB. Because my brother said he did like RGB, and he's gonna be happy with it. And I do have the two Antex fans in here. I will be cleaning them out. There's still some good, but. There are Molex, not three pin connectors. So uh, it all depends on how you want to use it. You can use the Molex, and I can use these as intake fans because they're um, 1100 RPM. I looked it up and I saw the RPM speed is 1100 RPM, which is basically known for air intake. So that's what these fans are for air intake and, and exhaust all the hot air out. So enough said, I'm excited to break it down, clean it, and get it ready for a new build. And let's go, let's get it. I am not finished. I cleaned all the parts. Um, the GPU wasn't that dirty, thank God for that. Now this here AMD stock cooler is quiet, but I couldn't really get this off here. I didn't want to break it, you know. So I just left it alone and just blew all the dust out of it. So what I will be doing here is this is an AMD motherboard. I will be buying him one. So that's about basically all I have to do is buy him a stock cooler. 
um, in the case and some fans. Um, maybe three, three RGB fans. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and put these here up front. Now, these here are the Antec 3. It has your um, fan speed controller on the side, which that's a plus. I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave it on high. The person had them on low. You could go low, medium, high with the um, switching on the side, which is, is good. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and see how loud these things are on, on, um, on high. Just like I said, it comes from the connects to um, the um, four pin Molex, which is not an issue. This is uh, possible. It has a four pin Molex on it, so it's not an issue with it. Uh, just like I said, I will be connecting everything back up to make sure everything is good. He might still want to use the stock cooler, so but for me to make sure that it boots back up and I get back into BIOS and etc. I will go ahead on it and um, do that there and run everything through BIOS just to make sure everything fires up, everything boots up good. Now these are your um, your AMD bridge if you want to connect to um, uh, PSUs up. Um, G me not PSU but GPUs up. But just like I said, this is the motherboard here, and it, 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 it's not much to work with. So you know, it's not much to work with. You got your PCIe. X16, your PCI 1, and your PCI slots. You know, you got your um your floppy pin connectors, you got your uh, IDE connector on the side. You know, it's not much to go by with um ASUS. And then you got your um your USBs headers to the bottom. It goes up to 12 USB connectors. Yeah, you got one, two, three, four, four in the back, and you can have two, four, six about six to eight up front so you got your um your h um your hd all your connector hookup so other than that this is it's a pretty good board now just like i said i'm gonna see if he wants me to upgrade to the um to the six core i'll be doing all my um list and everything on pc part because just like i said you all have to buy three parts is the case the uh, CPU cooler and the case fans. That's it. Uh, just like I said, it's it, back in the days. This is uh, Sapphire HD 7770 versus used for gaming, so one gigabyte. But we know uh, how hard our um, games are in 2022. You need a better GPU plus a strong CPU to play your games now. Back in the days, you could do a whole lot with this board here, you know, but now everything has them changed for the better, and which is good. It's not as bad as it is. He's just going to use it for basic use. So this is a good basic use here. So like I said, it's on Windows, um, Windows 7, Windows uh, XP. So like I said, you can do a, you can still do minimal with XP. You cannot gain with XP because Steam and Epic don't work on XP. But if I decide to put XP on it for him, he can go ahead and do basic Office Clerical and your Spotify. Now, if I put Windows 7 on here, which that's why I'm going that way, because you can do a little more. Um, he can go ahead and listen to Pandora, whatever he like to use. He can do that, and it would not be an issue. But Enough said, I am glad to go ahead on and clean it. Um, good build. Very good build. You can't go wrong with it. I know I took, y'all saw me took the bracket. I'm going to wash the bracket off because I couldn't really clean it. I don't want to go ahead on and um, break it. And um, once I break it, I had to go ahead on and put a stock cooler on it though. But my main thing is going with the ID cooling, the 92, um, 92 millimeter fan. It has four pin pipes, uh, four heat pipes on it, so it can go ahead on and uh, cool this board much better. So that's my thing for 20. So I might, I'm gonna be putting the stock cooler in there for him, a manufactured um, air cooler in there for him. Excuse me, I said stock. I'm gonna say manufactured air cooler, and um, it has a whole lot of pin connect. You got your CPU pin connect here, um, your CPU pin connect, your two case fans on the side here. Which that's that's an odd way to put them at, and um, that's it. So, 
the way I'm looking at this is board here he could go ahead on and go many options with it but other than that I'm gonna go ahead and stick if you want to go all black fans I could go ahead on and get him a um a case that has at least two or four you know you go all black no RGB just go ahead and give him a regular case but I know he's gonna get into that RGB you know give him a give him a little taste of of, of, of what the um the streamers going through with their bibs and you know give them a taste of that deal so you know my fans um i'm leaning to is basically you know up here in gmi but i'm also want to go ahead and do edi you know easy do it yourself um for that deal so now once you know the gpu will be covering the um the um pcie1 um socket that i could Put him a 3.0 um, fan controller on it. Um, not a fan controller, a 3.0 USB, so you can go ahead and high speed. But since the um, the the controller comes over that, you gonna have a hard time doing that. Or maybe I can go ahead and find a PCI One Connect um, bridge, um, like how do you do you do with the GPUs? If I can find one of those, he's good to go, and I can go ahead and connect that um. Then on um, 3.1, um, I smart, very good company here to you. So that's not bad at all. So other than that, everything is clean. I'm ready to assemble it back together. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything um, boots up into um, into the BIOS off camera because I don't just like I said. I don't I don't do all that. I just make sure it boot up off camera and just put it into some bubble wrap and put it store away nicely in the closet neatly. Other than that, everything's clean. I want to thank y'all for watching for watching me do the clean down on this here. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.